Life is not a bad guy. Heaven letter number 5927. February 15th, 2017. What if you simply welcome life? What if you felt that you were life's genial host? That you are to help life feel welcome and comfortable on earth? It would seem that you have considered life to be your host and that life is to make you welcome and comfortable. Is this so? I think that's exactly what many or most of my children have been doing, expecting life to massage their feet and soothe their feelings, as though life is supposed to be your butler or servant of some kind. Of course, life does serve. You and life are reciprocal. You serve each other. Life on earth is not a one-way activity. Life parents you, and sometimes you have to go along. In one sense, I ask you to intercede for life and make its job easier. Let life sit on the couch. Let life put its legs up on the ottoman. Plump the cushions up for life at least once in a while. Serve life some tea. Take at least some responsibility for life. No matter what happens in life, life is not a bad guy. As you do your best, so does life. Life gives you its all. Life wants to make you happy. Life has other responsibilities as well. Besides that, it is not always easy for life to make you happy. Do your utmost to smile back at life. Give life a break. Don't be a hard taskmaster. Even when life disappoints you, be cordial. I won't say that life makes mistakes. If it did, you flub up every once in a while too. Life is set in motion, and anything can happen. Life doesn't always get its way. Give a little when it comes to life. And, yes, of course, sometimes you have to give a lot. You have to make way for life and give it space. In terms of the world, no one changes what has already occurred. Of course, the whole thing of life isn't solely about you. If life were a palanquin, we can say that you are one of the people who carry it. Sometimes you ride in comfort in the palanquin. Sometimes you have to get out and carry the palanquin whether you like or not. Life is an ordeal particularly when you fight it. The opposite to fighting life may be to shake hands with it. You can be gentlemanly. Sometimes you might want to say to life, Pardon me for taking offense. I do understand that you have a job to do, and you have a great responsibility to do it. I realize that you do the best for all of us you can. You cannot always make exceptions. You do not always have the say. You have certain routes to follow, and follow you must. You may be as puzzled as I am. Just as a cat is a cat and a dog is a dog, life is life, and this is how it is. Life is what it is. Life cannot be what it isn't. Grant life all the freedom you can. What else can you do anyway? There is no point in griping about life. Perhaps you wanted to make a peach pie. You thought you had plenty of peaches, but you don't, yet here is a plum tree. Pick the plums. Make a plum pie instead. If the oven won't light, then make the plum pie a raw plum pie. You can figure something out. If you hang clothes on the line, and it starts raining, and you are away from home and can't rush out to get the clothes off the line, oh, well, then let the clothes enjoy their extra rinse outside, for the sun will shine again tomorrow. You can be reconciled with life as it is, rain or shine. You can be a good sport. You're not supposed to be cross. Sorry, life doesn't have a complaint department. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org